Welcome to Lesson 3C, Conservation of Mass. In this lesson, we'll derive the integral or control volume equation for conservation of mass using the Reynolds Transport Theorem. From that, we'll generate the differential equation for conservation of mass, the continuity equation, by application of Gauss's theorem. We start with the general RTT equation for property phi, a function of space and time, as was derived in the previous lesson. For simplicity in writing all this out, we'll write phi instead of this, v instead of this, etc. So this equation is simplified to this form. For conservation of mass, we let phi be the density rho. Therefore, capital phi is lowercase phi or rho times v, the volume, which becomes mass, m, since by definition density is mass per volume. Plug this into our equation. First, the left-hand side but we recognize that this is the total mass in the volume. So this left-hand side becomes dm dt. And I'll define m as the total mass in volume v. But we know that conservation of mass of a system in the Lagrangian description is dm dt equals zero. This is by definition of a system, since no mass can enter or leave a system even if that system is moving along or distorting or expanding. Thus we write out our equation as dm dt equals zero, and then the unsteady term, where we have set phi equal to rho in this equation, plus the surface integral, which becomes rho ui dai. This is our conservation of mass equation. I like to write it this way, because we can clearly define the Lagrangian portion and the Eulerian portion of this equation. This left portion of the equation is the system equation, and the right portion of the equation applies for a control volume. So this blue circled portion of the equation is conservation of mass equation in integral or control volume form. Thus, by simple substitution of phi equal rho in the Reynolds transport theorem and recognizing conservation of mass for a system, we now have the control volume form of conservation of mass. Now let's derive the differential form of this equation. We can derive the differential form directly and elegantly from the integral form using Gauss's theorem, also called Gauss's law or the divergence theorem. In tensor notation, Gauss's theorem is that the volume integral of del phi del xi, where phi is some function, d volume, equal the integral over a closed area of phi dai, where a is the area defining or surrounding volume v. Notice again the circle, meaning that it's the entire area that defines volume v. And phi can be any property or quantity. We will apply Gauss's theorem many times in this course. Let's apply Gauss's theorem to our conservation of mass equation. First, let's rewrite the equation, namely the control volume portion of the equation we just derived from Reynolds transport theorem. And noticing that this form is similar to this form, if we let phi equal rho ui, and let a equal our control surface, and v equal our control volume, since both this equation and this equation will apply at any instant in time. Thus, this integral can be written using Gauss's theorem as a volume integral over the control volume of del del xi of phi, which is rho ui, dv. Just a comment here about the usefulness of Gauss's theorem. It allows us to convert from an area integral to a volume integral. This will become extremely useful in much of our work. Why? Because now we can rewrite this equation, the control volume conservation of mass equation, as zero equal integral over the control volume, del rho del t dv, plus another integral over the control volume, del del xi rho ui dv, and then combine these two integrals under one roof, so to speak. In other words, under one integral sign, as we show here. Now let's argue that this equation, which I'll call 1, holds for any arbitrary volume, no matter how large or small. The only way this is possible is if the integrand in this equation, which is everything circled up here, is 0 itself everywhere in the flow. So we set everything encircled in red to 0 and write out thus 
del rho del t plus del del xi of rho ui equals zero. And thus, in a few simple steps, we have the differential equation of conservation of mass, which most people just call the continuity equation. Notice how easy it was to derive these equations, both the integral or control volume and the differential form, by using Reynolds transport theorem and then Gauss's theorem. Well, that might be easy for you, Professor, but all this calculus is making my brain smoke. Well, don't worry, Dud. It'll get easier with practice. As a preview of coming attractions, we'll do this with linear momentum and energy as well. Right now, however, I want to show you an alternative form of this equation. Namely, let's expand this using the product rule. Del del xi of rho ui is ui del rho del xi plus rho del ui del xi. So our continuity equation becomes del rho del t plus ui del rho del xi plus rho del ui del xi equals zero. When I teach this live, I ask my students if they can identify this grouping of terms, someone always recognizes as the material derivative. Therefore, this equation becomes d rho dt, using capital D's the material derivative, plus the second term equals zero, or dividing by rho, one over rho d rho dt plus del ui del xi equals zero. This is an alternate form of the continuity equation. I like this form of the equation because we can learn a lot just by looking at it. Material derivative d rho dt represents the total change of density as it moves along in the flow. For the simple case of incompressible flow, density does not change, so d rho dt must equal zero. And from this equation, del ui del xi must also equal zero. This is thus the incompressible continuity equation in tensor form. You may recall deriving this equation in undergraduate fluid mechanics by looking at all the mass flow into and out of all the surfaces in a little control volume or fluid element. Here we derived the same equation in a more condensed manner using the Reynolds transport theorem, Gauss's law, and the product rule. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.